So I think one of the most important things in life is purpose because purpose is literally your reason for being alive. But it's not as like, you know, voodoo and kind of like pseudoscience as you might think it is. It's actually a lot more straightforward than you think. So I'll explain to you what I think purpose is in my own understanding. But here's the thing, purpose is thrown around all over the internet by many different guys, like these like alpha males or whatever, like like Andrew Tate. Like the word purpose is thrown around, like, oh bro, be on your purpose, you know, forget about women, forget about everyone, just be on your purpose, focus on your purpose, king. But I think purpose is just thrown around as this term to mean like grind, be on your grind, be on your mission, like focus on your work. But I think purpose goes much deeper than that. Purpose is not just about working on like getting rich or something like that. I think that's a very shallow understanding of purpose. And I feel like a lot of these guys don't really know what purpose means, but I think it's a lot more simpler than you might think. So the way I think of purpose, it's like the thing your mind obsesses about. It's like your overwhelming desire in life. What is the thing you most want in your life right now? That's basically your purpose. So let's say for example, you're broke and you know, you really want money. That's your overwhelming desire. Then your purpose is to like achieve financial freedom or to get money. Or for example, you know, you've been alone your whole life and you want a partner or something, or you want friends. Then your purpose is to develop your relationship skills and make some friends or get a partner. There's a couple problems with purpose, right? The first thing is that we have so many distractions in the modern day. Like for example, your mind might naturally obsess about video games, for example. You know, you like for me, most of my life, I would be obsessed about video games. The first thing I would think about when I wake up, video games. The last thing I'd think about before I went to bed, video games. Does that mean video games was my purpose? No, video games are like a distraction from my true purpose. Or like you might be a stoner and you might be smoking weed every day, right? Doesn't mean that's your purpose. So your purpose is basically what you're obsessed about, what your brain naturally thinks about in the absence of all distractions. So in this video, later in this video, I'll explain to you how to exactly find your purpose or ways you can find it. But for now, I'll just go through a little bit of what I think it is, right? My, my understanding of it. Now, I first learned about purpose about a year and a half ago from this book called, got it right here, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Probably one of my favorite books of all time. I've reread it like 10 times. It is valuable, but it introduced me to this concept of purpose. And I think it's the most important thing. It's literally our reason for being here. But anyway, let me explain it in a bit more detail. Yeah, I first read about this a year and a half ago. And since then, my understanding of purpose has deepened a lot. But it's such a deep topic. I'm not claiming to be an expert and know everything about purpose. But here's what I think. So let me give you some examples of people who's, who found their purpose, I guess you could say. For example, Albert Einstein, when he was like four years old, his dad gave him a compass, I believe. And he was, he just got his mind was blown by the compass. He was like, wow, this thing with these invisible forces, this is amazing. This is what I wanna dedicate my life to. And essentially he found his purpose in life, which was to explore electromagnetism or physics or whatever. Steve Jobs, when he was a child, he saw technology. I can't remember exactly how, he saw it in like a shop window or something and immediately he was hooked and he became obsessed about it. So these are guys who essentially found their purpose in life, right? But like, you might think, ah, oh, purpose, that's for, that's for the famous people. That's for the successful people. These people have something inside them that like pulls them towards something. Oh, but I don't have that, bro. I don't have a natural pull towards anything. But here's the thing you do. Here's the problem with purpose in the modern day, right? So when we're children, all children, they, they know what they want to be when they grow up. Like all children, their imaginations go wild. They're like, oh, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a firefighter. I want to go to the moon. You know, kids dream big. And like everyone supports them. They're like, oh, that's so cute. You want to be an astronaut? You know, they give them toys and kids just explore and they have fun, right? Like I remember I wanted to be like an inventor when I was a child or something. Like my mind was going wild. But the problem is with modern society, everyone wants to be average, right? So when a kid starts dreaming big, everyone pushes him down. Like for example, in front of his teacher, he's like, oh, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. And the teacher's like, oh, Timmy, you need to be realistic. Chances are you're not going to be an astronaut. And suddenly like Timmy, that voice in his head that tells him he wants to be an astronaut, he starts to push it away. He's like, no, 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 this is not, this is not the real me, this is not me, this is the bad part of me. Or maybe you've got Asian parents and they're like, oh no, you need to be a doctor, you need to be a lawyer. And you know, Timmy further pushes away that voice in his head that tells him what he's pulled towards, what he's interested in. So in the modern day, because of what I said earlier of all the distractions around you, and because we've pushed that intuitive voice inside us so deep, no one really knows their purpose, no one has a purpose. But why is having a purpose important? Because a purpose is what you obsess about, what your brain is just naturally pulled and interested towards. It's like an internal compass that pulls you in one direction in the world. 
If you have a purpose, then there's no, there's no questions in your life. You wake up, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do in the long term. You know, you know where you're going in your life. It's like an internal compass that pulls you. And furthermore, you have like a ton of energy because your purpose is naturally what you're pulled towards, right? Like let's say you're doing a job you hate. You need to force yourself to go to the job. You need to like pump yourself with caffeine because you hate that job. You have to force yourself to do it. But if you're on your purpose, you don't need to do that. You naturally want to do it. Like think of all the great physicists, you know, they will naturally destroy their competition because they are naturally interested in physics and they naturally want to do it. So this is why purpose is so important. It's literally what's going to make you the most fulfilled in life because it's the thing that you, your heart, your body wants to do in life. But finding your purpose is so difficult. And on top of that, we have a ton of limiting beliefs and a ton of like obstacles in our life to achieve certain things. Let's say you've always want, like let's say deep down you wanna be a painter, you wanna get into art. But immediately when you think about wanting to be a painter, the first thing that's gonna come to your mind is like, oh, but it doesn't make any money. Or like, oh, but it's so lame. People are gonna make fun of me for doing such a basic, job. You know, I need to get a real job, like, you know, work in an office or something. So we've got like, you know, first of all, you know, we're chasing money. We want money. And a lot of things that we truly want to do in life doesn't lead to money. That's the first problem. The second problem is we may have many limiting beliefs. Like maybe you've always been into sports and you're just naturally a, like a kinesthetic sports person. You might feel like, oh, but bro, I'm, I'm not good enough to be an athlete, you know? It's too much work. You have so many limiting beliefs. So there are so many obstacles standing in our way to achieving our purpose. So this is an analogy for purpose that I heard. I can't remember where I heard it from. Might have, uh, might be from a video I watched. Basically, purpose is like an onion. So you know how an onion has a center and it has like a bunch of layers on top of it, right? So this is essentially like our purpose. Our purpose is like a bunch of layers. We don't just have one purpose in life. We have many purposes. So in the middle of our life is like our life's purpose, the like the purpose for our whole life. And you know, I don't know what it is. It could be like to discover the meaning of life or to discover the nature of the universe or something. But the problem is this life purpose that we have is covered by many other purposes, right? So it's like, okay, we can't discover the meaning of the universe till we've had kids and raised them to be successful. But we can't do that till we've found a partner. But we can't do that till we've developed our dating skills. But we can't do that till we've made enough money to, to keep a family alive. Oh, but I can't do that till I've traveled Europe. You know, we've got many purposes on top of our deep life purpose. So what we need to do is we need to attack the outer purpose layer. And once we attack that and complete it, then we're onto the new purpose layer. But the problem is, you know, this purpose onion might be thousands of layers thick because in the modern day, desires are just thrown at us left and right. It's like, okay, here you go. Here's a drug addiction. Here's a video game addiction. Here's a Bentley that you need to buy. You know, so many false purposes are thrown on top of us in the modern society. So the biggest obstacle we have is finding, okay, what's our current purpose layer? And so step one, you have to get rid of all the distractions and the stuff that's not your real purpose. So let me give you an example. For example, like most of my life, like I, you know, was very bad at like talking to people. I never really had intimate relationships with people. Or I was never close to anyone. So like last year, my mind was just obsessed about, you know, wanting to socialize and meet people and make friends. So yeah, your purpose is essentially like your reason, your reason for doing the stuff that you do every single day. So for example, for me, I can't help but be, be obsessed about like achieving financial freedom. Like I wanna make money like online and in my life. So that's naturally what my mind obsesses about. And that's what I think about all day. But if I develop like a video game addiction or something, that's going to become the new focus in my life. So I need to peel away the distractions. So I'll explain to you a couple ways you can work towards figuring out your purpose. So the first thing is you can look into your past. You can look into your past at the things that you naturally loved to do and you were naturally pulled towards. Like here's a question you can ask yourself. What is something that to you feels like play, but to others feels like work? Like for me, filming these videos, I loved it. I'm always walking around my house like a crazy person talking to myself. And when I record these videos, I just like talk to myself, but in front of a camera. So this is like to other people talking to a camera or public speaking would feel like work. But to me, it just feels good. It feels nice. Like I love doing this. That's one question you can ask yourself. Also, you can just audit everything you've done in your life. You have a lot more experience in your life than you realize. And you can look back and see what you loved to do throughout your life. What were you naturally pulled towards? That could also give you clues towards your purpose. Like we're always like, oh, but I want to try more stuff in my life to figure out what I want to do with my life. That's one option. But the other option is you have to realize that you've actually done a lot more in your life than you realize. Like I've got what, 24? 
four years of experience, almost 25. You know, I've got tons of experience. I know what I like, what I don't like. So that can give me clues towards my purpose. Another thing is it could relate to a constraint in your life. So let's say you've never had a girlfriend. You've always been alone. Um, you've never had love. Maybe that's what you naturally obsess about. That's what you naturally think about. Like you naturally feel lonely, but maybe you distract yourself by like drinking or something like that. So that could be related to your purpose. You want to develop your skills with socializing and relationships. It's a constraint in your life. Or maybe you're broke and you know, you want money to retire your family or you want money to live comfortably. So that might be the constraint in your life. Or maybe you're really overweight or you're really skinny and you want to, you know, get healthy and get fit while you're in your prime. That could be the constraint in your life. That could be your purpose. So your purpose is like your mission in your life, basically, based on my current understanding of it. You know, purpose could go really, really deep. And I'm just kind of like on the surface of understanding what purpose really means. And here's the other way to find out your purpose. You need to get rid of all your distractions. The problem is we never let ourselves think. So we don't know what our purpose is because we don't know what our brain is pulling us towards because we feel lonely for one second. We go and smoke weed or go and drink to pull away the pain. But maybe that feeling of loneliness is giving you a hint towards your purpose that maybe you want a partner in your life or something, you know? Your purpose could be related to your insecurities or something. So the other way to find your purpose is to literally just let your mind go ham. Let your mind spew everything out. So that means literally sitting down. I do this a couple times a year. Literally sit down for like six hours, seven hours, ideally a couple days if you can, and just do nothing. What you want to do is you want to reach the end of thought. You want to just let all your thoughts just fly out. And then you'll realize, you'll get like a vision, you'll, ha you'll understand what you want to do with your life. That's the other way to do it. But here's the thing, most guys are not going to do that. Most guys can't even sit down with their own thoughts for 20 minutes. I, I think this, the philosopher Archimedes, or he's a scientist, I guess, I think it's him. He said, most of man's problems comes from their inability to sit in a room in silence on their own. That's the solution to a lot of your life's problems, literally just sitting on your own. Even I struggle with this. It's painful to sit in your room being bored but that could be another way to find your purpose. Society is so against us with finding our purpose. They're so, they want, us, they want to push us through the system, the education system. They want to push us through, you know, the machine to make us all average, make us all, you know, compliant. But like, I dream of a world where a bunch of young men are following their purpose, following their own unique mission in life. Because everyone is gonna have a different unique person purpose. It's not like everyone wants to be an athlete. It's not like everyone wants to be a scientist, right? Everyone's got their own unique corner of humanity that they're exploring. And my dream is, at least for my, my men on this channel, is for all of us to be following our purpose, exploring our purpose, and you know, combining together and working together and making each other more powerful. So join me, find your purpose. If you Save yourself years of your life. Find your purpose now. See you later.